In this final lecture, we're going to talk about some improvements to your type safety and then making your mount function a little bit more idiomatic. Finally, I'll leave you some, with some recommendations on how you can continue to learn about Cypress and component testing. Let's start off with the type safety. I needed to improve my mount function and here's how I did it. The first thing I needed to do was get access to this mounting options argument. That's the second argument of the mount function, which is just imported from Cypress view. After you got that, I went ahead and declared a global and we augment the Cypress global. We're going to pass in mount, which is going to be a type of mount. Finally, we needed to add the custom command. I said Cypress commands add and passed in my mount command. The final thing we needed to do was actually update the mount function. It now has a generic for the prop types and everything else is mostly the same. The second argument is more type safe with the mounting options. We then just return the original mount, pass in the mounting options, our props, and then our global plugins. The next thing I needed to do to get this to actually work with TypeScript was head over here to my TS config, and inside of include, I needed to add Cypress support TS. This is not really ideal. Apparently you're supposed to be able to do this inside of a TS config inside of your Cypress directory, but I couldn't get this one to work, so I had to add it up here. Either way, once I did that, all my TypeScript errors went away. And if we take a look at one of my tests, I'm now able to do psi.mount. And we're getting all the type safety you would expect. For example, I can get global, which is part of view test utils, things like atters and props. Unfortunately, props is not as type safe as you might hope for with Vue. Uh, if you're using React and TSX, that is going to be much more type safe. If you do feel strongly about type safety uh, in Vue, you do have another, few, another option and that would be to use TSX with Vue. I found that works pretty well as well. Just before I show you how to do that, I'd like to show you how to run all your tests in one go. You can run npx, cypress run, component, and headed. And that's going to run them all in a headed mode. So you can have a look and, and see if anything obviously fails. I'm expecting everything to pass because I haven't changed anything. The only change I've made is by using psi mount instead of importing my mount function to all of my tests. And that's made my tests a lot more concise. As we can see, everything is going to pass, which is exactly the result I was expecting. The final thing I'm going to do is show you how we're using Cypress component testing and view at Cypress, and that might give you some more inspiration and ideas. I'm going to head over to here. Um, we have our first custom mount command here inside of our, our support file. Most component testing projects are going to have fairly complex and comprehensive mount commands customized for their application, and here's how ours works. We have our mount function here, and we do a whole bunch of different things. We have our global options, we have some stubs, we have transitions. Uh, we actually have a few plugins as well for internationalization. We are using GraphQL quite heavily, so we have a test Urkel client uh, to test our GraphQL components. Uh, we then do a few different things, and ultimately, we just return mount, which is exactly what I was doing in my application, the one I just showed you. If you'd like some more inspiration for tests, you can go ahead and take a look at some of our packages as well. Uh, anything ending in TSX, uh, side.tsx rather, is probably a component test. This is a view component test, but it is using TSX. Uh, this is not exactly the most common practice in the view world, but it does give you much better type safety, which is uh, something that's pretty important to me. So I'm considering moving some of my projects to using TSX as well. Uh, definitely worth checking out if you feel strongly about type safety. So go ahead and take a look at our code base and see if you can find uh, some examples of things you might like to do. You can see most of the content here is very similar to the content I just shared with you. For example, we're using a spy instead of a stub. Uh, we're using things like an alias to make it more concise and readable. And we're just doing exactly the same thing, asserting that it was called. <laughs> it's potential that we could improve this by asserting that the correct payload was included as well. <laughs> Maybe a nice chance for an easy pull request for someone in the community. Anyway, that brings us to the end of the component testing section. We do have to add a lot more tests to this application to make it fully covered. Uh, we haven't got any end-to-end -end tests, so that's the next thing I'm going to talk about. I'd also like to dive into testing composables with Cypress, maybe testing stores, and so on and so forth. So I'll see you in the next series of lectures.